I pressed the record button. I've just pressed the record button. Uh, so you can't okay. you can't replay what we did yesterday. So uh, because you know it's not going to work out. You know we went through a sequence of a conversation and we and we learned certain things. So what I thought I'd yes. do this morning is ask you, after our call or during our call, what did you feel about the the question you had regarding the anomaly? Okay. <laughs> How did? Why did you pick that one specifically? It's almost <laughs> as if you sense something. Okay, and what yeah. I'm going to do is, okay. what I'm going to do, Rick, yeah. is I am going to put on. Um, I'm going to put this on here, and we're going to have. So I'm going to really put you under some pressure now, because what we're going to do is, um, I'm going to just put this up to here, and we're going to have 15 minutes. And you have to do everything in 15 minutes, okay? So there's your countdown timer. It's time to go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, no, I felt I felt great. Your analogy about a speaker on a platform and the enthusiasm that the speaker generates uh, really helped me understand what the actual belief entails. Okay. We moved on to phase two, which was then I was looking for what's not normal. You shut that down with an AR-15, okay, <laughs> saying that no, only look for what's abnormal, which made sense, okay. Okay. Then there was something that you said later on, okay, which kind of uh, 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 when I when I thought about it later, I was like, no man, come on, I gotta at least know a little bit more about what's normal because Martin said uh, in one of the charts that we look at, you said, okay, here are increasing belief bars they are yellow we should expect them to be going down not going up that is an anomaly now to me i didn't see that as a rickshaw to me it's uh, you know uh, i didn't see it as a bus i didn't see it as a rickshaw because i don't know which one is supposed to be coming down the road i don't okay. know if you understand i can see i just yeah. saw yeah yes, i can see yes. i can see yeah. now how you've got that right i put yeah i'm glad you put that up because at the moment you said that i thought oh that's wrong why why did i mm. say that so i've obviously said something out of context there so when we sit when we, and we'll, we'll talk about those three yellow bars and we can talk about that okay. without showing that because we know what we're talking about and we can show that later but mm. so yes, yes. yeah i totally get that as soon as you said that i thought oh that's wrong why is he? Why is he said that? And but I, but I think probably I yeah. If you said if that's in your brain, obviously I've said that. Okay, so mm. when we're looking at three yellow, and we'll take three yellows as a, as an example. And they were rising. Yes, and they, they and were they rising. Were, and they were yeah. rising. Okay, so if we went back yes. to our cloud analogy where we talked about you know you've got these speakers uh, you know firing people up. Um, it's a, it's yes. like the, the 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 it's rising. So the average price is rising if you're looking at that as well. Yes. But it's rising yes. with decreasing activity. So if we yes. if we looked about our, um, our, our, our demonstration with people holding up our, uh, holding up their signs and chanting around the speaker, at one moment mm -hmm. we have five thousand um, uh, people holding the holding the, the boards up and chanting and being motivated, and as the, the mm -hmm. crowd starts to move off uh, to a new location. Mm -hmm. You look down and you notice that a third of the people have dropped their their sign down. They're not as enthusiastic about this speaker or where they're going. And then as they get mm -hmm. a bit further on, more people come down and you see less and less signs. So as the, you then look out at the crowd and you think, hang on a minute, the crowd is moving off down the street, uh, but they're not as motivated. They're, they're, there's only half of them now holding up their signs, and gradually that's happened over a period of time. So as they, as the progression, you know, the demonstration has gone down the road, or in our case, the market has moved up in price. There's been less and less commitment to that. So let's say you, as a trader, you're looking in at your screen, and we're going to put you um, at the base yellow, where, and so there's three yellow bars rising up. Yes, yes. So you're, you're sitting in there now and there's a whole room of you. Uh, so there's a hundred of you in a room and you're all looking at this and you all have a position. Um, and then there's another 200. On the, so, so, there's a, so there's a hundred in the room and 75 of you have got a position. Or well, 50%, make it easy. Now, as the, mm. as the price starts to go up, as a result of 50 of you having a commitment to a higher prices, others you would expect to come in and they'd look at you and think, well, hey, they're making money, uh, I'll join them. But they don't. In actual fact, 
10 of those 50 that are sitting around you quietly exit their trade. Okay, they, they withdraw from their position and they move over. So what's actually happened is that group of 50 traders has now become less traders. Okay, so their yes. commitment, and this is, this is the tricky bit, Rick, Mm -hmm. We've got to not get hot, caught up on price here. It's their commitment yes. to higher prices that has started to fade. They no longer have the belief. And I'd use this term waning beliefs. It's like when you suddenly, you know, it's hard to, to put this into words because you've got to think, try and think about something that you used to believe in, let's say. Now, I know this is hard because our beliefs work in humans, mm -hmm. but if you were trying mm -hmm. Think about something that you once had a very firm belief about and then you change that belief. Now there is very, we, because we can't hold two opposing beliefs in our brains at the same time, we think we can, like we can't, we, I mean for example, we can't truly believe in God and not believe in God. Now, I've used that in religion, I shouldn't use religion, yes. But, yes. but you know what I'm saying, it's, it's, an, it's an either or. If you were a believer, going to a non-believer, it is highly unlikely that it would occur like that. It would Correct. occur over a, over a period. Something would happen. Somebody would tell you a story. So, you know, and your, your belief in one thing would start to wane and it would certainly be questioned. Mm -hmm. When you went passed down through that and got to the other side of that belief where you now believe the new thing, the mm -hmm. old belief cannot exist anymore. It dies. Okay, that's an extreme example of birth and death of beliefs. But what we're talking about here is the waning of beliefs, the running out of energy. Okay, okay, I'm starting to question this. Maybe this isn't true. Yeah, you know what? Maybe this. And more people and see people see you questioning it, and then yeah, you know what? Maybe this isn't. Tr I'm not willing to participate. So a yellow bar, if we can put it in a sentence, is. Mm. The waning of belief in higher prices. Okay. Or, All right. or the waning of belief in lower prices. So now the waning on, of belief in lower prices would still also be, that will also be uh, a yellow stepping down basically. Yes. Waning belief in lower prices, waning belief in higher prices. Yes. Then the blue would be increasing belief in higher prices. Yes. And then and then increasing belief in lower prices. Yes. So you actually have answered the question that I had in the email, but I didn't know how to articulate it because remember when I was saying it's belief in what? Belief in higher prices prices or lower prices and you know and you mentioned now uh, not being able to hold to uh, 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 opposing belief at once because yes. I was looking at it as in if I believe if if it's increasing it's if it's decreasing up it uh, you know the if there is a decrease in belief but it's rising the converse would automatically means that there's an increase in opposite direction. It sounds a bit complicated. Yeah. That's how I was in the beginning. I was confused, but you've just clarified it. Okay. I'm glad that, yeah. Now, I think I'm on the path. I'm back on the path to greatness now. Okay, now we're going to just take it one stage further because what happens, Rick, if we see, if we look at a market and we see three yellow bars going up, mm -hmm. Yes. And you're thinking, OK, there's a waning belief here in mm. uh, rising prices. This is very useful. I want to think about this. You're talking about this. And then as you're looking at it, the next bar comes in and it's say it's uh, level with the last red one. Sorry, last yellow one. Or it's a little bit higher. Mm. What's happened? Mm -hmm. What do you think has happened in that, in that scenario? So we've got three red yellows going up. Mm -hmm. And then we come to a blue, which either goes up a little bit more or stays at the same, or might go up a little bit, gap up a little bit more, whatever. What do you think is happening now when you're looking at that next blue bar following the belief? So the price has continued in the direction, but it's gone yellow, 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 yes. and then it's gone blue. Mm -hmm. What do you think has happened? Yes. Uh, well, the meaning of that 
that individual bar means that there's now increased belief into prices continuing to rise. Okay. Emphasis is on the word continuing. Okay. Because so initially it was waning, waning, waning. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, that's right. Go yeah. on. Waning, waning, yeah. waning. Yeah. So it was waning, waning, waning. And then all of a sudden, hang on a minute, it's gone not only from waning, but uh, strong and still rising. Okay, let's so go back to our room of traders. We've got a room of traders yeah. now. We've got 100 in there. We've got 50. And we got 50 mm. traders in there, and we got 50, and then, and then 10 drop off, and then 10 drop off, yes. and we're now at the say where we've got a small group of traders who are who so, are in the market and committed, and they believe in future higher prices, but the majority haven't. But then all of a sudden, yes. you get somebody 60. says something, or somebody says something, or something happens in the room and says, let's imagine, let's imagine that some trader says, hey, actual fact, you're all wrong, guys, because it is going to go up because. You, what you didn't know about, in the next 30 seconds, there's going to be a, uh, a news announcement, and I actually know what's going on. It's going to go up. Now, this room now around starts to boil, and now they start, you know what? He, he's right. And they enter the market. So now, those have trained, trained, changed from three yellows, they've gone to blue. So emphasis, and now suddenly the room believes again in higher prices. Yes. Okay, and that example That's of that exactly information it, coming yes. in, that information coming into the room is, is a good analogy of how things can change quite quickly and the dynamics can change. Now, in that situation, Rick, what I've just described to you, already I have an image in my mind, already, uh, of, and it's not an image of, an image of bars, and I'm, I'm not going not to show on this on a, on a bar because I want to get the image in your brain if I can. So as we've got this room, we've got this image, and we've got this yellow, 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 and then we have this blue, me as a trader looking in, I'm observing, remember, the room. I'm, the bars are revealing to me the contents of the room or the contents of the crowd yes. and what they believe in. Yes. I'm also realising that the market makers are manipulating that room. They are, they are allowing yes. the certain amount of information into the room Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so they're feeding the information, they're feeding and creating the beliefs. Now, sometimes, of course, that once they've done that, they're not always doing that. They only need to pop something in. Now, once that is done and that starts to come off, I'm looking, okay, well, hang on a minute. They now all came in. Where did that come from? Rick, you can't hear anything ringing in your ears, can you? Oh, I think we got cut off there. We did. Okay, well, hopefully Rick will come back in a moment the clock is ticking down uh, okay i think we've got rick back now let's have a look Here sorry i don't know what happened sorry i'm not sure what happened that's all right probably had that storm again or it was probably the market makers actually cut this off <laughs> because they knew <laughs> because they they're knew, not happy <laughs> they're not happy about this and they're not happy about this uh explanation okay so we're in the okay. room and mm. we're in the room and now we've got the three yellows we've got the blue and we can see that and we can hear the roar and look what's going all on now May, I need to make money from this information. Yes. It's no good. It's no good knowing this information and seeing this information. We have to make money from this information, whilst at the same time losing as little money as possible, which is all about risk. So when I see that occurring, what I want to do is step back from the room, and I now say to myself, "Okay, well, there, it was it was waning." Now we've had an injection of belief in higher prices. Now I want to see a retrace. So I want to see those weak yes. beliefs, I want to see them tested. I want to see the resolve of the traders in the room, I want to see them tested. What can I expect to see that to happen then? What would I be waiting to see on the chart? What do you think? Uh, so in terms of the retrace or in terms yes. of them in being tested? In terms of the retrace, describe, describe how, well, I, trick, I sort of gave you the so answer there. What would, I, what would I expect to see? So in, so in, terms, of the, in terms of the retrace, yeah. you look to see, uh, so if we were on a down move, you look to see uh, how far down you go. Yeah. You press the retrace tool at the lowest of that bar. And once you come up, uh, come up, you observe the reaction to that retrace, yeah. and then from there, uh, you will most likely get a commitment into a direction, either breaking out of the retrace up or back 
don't. Now, what I really liked about your answer there, Rick. What what I really liked about your answer there, Rick, you had you had already not got committed to the fact that the market was going to continue. You said you would then react to whether the market was going to continue on up or down. That Correct. is that is exactly the thinking that you need to have. Because we were talking about okay. oh, there's a belief on the upcrease, and you and you and most people at that point would say oh yeah, and that's and then we'd look for a retrace and then carry on and buy into the market. You didn't say that. You immediately said. No, no, we'd put, the, we'd put the trade finder tool on there, we'd see about how it reacted from there, and then we'd act accordingly. Yes. Absolutely on the yes. nail, bingo, well done indeed. Rick, oh, I think, I think our conversation yesterday was a great, I think, you know, look, look, looking back now, and I know our viewers who get to see this afterwards haven't, didn't experience the, the conversation, but coming back today, what we've talked about, I think we've recapped it very well. Yes, yes. No, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Okay, Absolutely, well, look, no, we, yeah, we have, yeah. Yeah, uh, that's really good. And, and I think, I think Rick, what I'm actually, you know, I put the timer on there and the timer's now down at 13 seconds. I've got to talk very quickly now. No, 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 seriously. Um, the timer, I think, is to keep, <laughs> is to keep us focused on, we, we, if we get 15 minutes of an questions and answers, then somebody coming in can know, hey, I'm going to sit down here for 15 minutes and, you know, go through this and, and I'll get this out of it. Rather than having a sort of an hours conversation where it sort of it can get it, we can the, the message can get lost a little bit, yeah. Yes, yes, I agree. And no, I'm happy with that. What's more important is that you, you, we can then have more frequent fifteen minutes, yeah. Yep, I'm happy with that. Yeah, and I think that's a Very great way forward. Very happy with that. I get I get to benefit from the fact that you didn't press record yesterday. <laughs> I did today. <laughs> <laughs> okay Perfect. well i've got a yes. call so um i'm not very good with geography and i know i shouldn't ask this question but i've got to ask you this question anyway durban that that is in south africa yes. is it it is in south africa yes it's on the east coast of africa okay so um, i'm facing the indian ocean where i am so if i look out i can see new zealand albeit very very far and very very small <laughs> yes Yes. Okay, I'll have a look on Google Earth tonight. See if I can see, <laughs> yeah. see if I can you standing yeah. on the beach. Okay, Rick, yeah, right, okay. We'll, we'll get off now because I've got to call somebody in England now. All the way, you know, right. isn't technology incredible when it works? Yeah, no, it is. It is absolutely. Yeah, so got a very and I, but I hope that the, the dis I hope the disconnection hasn't uh, uh, negatively affected the quality. No, no. Then, uh, yeah, yeah. Then uh, are we on for another fifteen minutes tomorrow? Um, not tomorrow. No, that's too soon for you. I'm not giving you. I'm. I want some more work out of you okay. and some email feedback, and I want okay. some questions. Right. Okay. Send some questions Perfect. over on email so that we can collate. Right. And next time, uh, and I want to know your thinking. You see, and where you are, at what stage you are. Right. Okay. And then, right. then we'll schedule another call. No, I'm happy with that. The 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 biggest challenge I had was to understand belief in what. Okay. Right. But now with the analogy that you explained and the waning enthusiasm and the commitment and so on and so forth, I understand a lot better. I'm going to go back to the charts. I'm going to read them. If uh, when I have questions, as they always do pop up, I will collate them and then we'll take it on from there. Okay, lovely. Okay. Have a great day. Thank you so much. Well, evening. Okay. Have a have great a, evening, uh, and I'll speak to you soon. You have a great day. Take care. Okay. Okay, bye. What you've just seen is a typical student training session. As you progress, these get more in depth and they move into coaching to deal with wealth creation. Having personal contact like that is so that I can offer guidance and advice on a regular basis. It makes a huge difference to how quickly you can become consistently profitable and get on track for real wealth creation. Just before I go, I'd like to show you what it's like inside your training portal when we start working together. Okay, so once you log in, you will have access to this. You can see this uh, free training book down here. There's a Wealth Creation Trading Currencies course. This is uh, free. There's other things here. If you want to actually join and get onto the Market Makers method, you can just buy directly from here. But you can log into this uh, free while you're here and have access to this. And then you scroll down to the bottom down here, you can see the PAT software set up and how to use. There's a training course there on the actual PAT software. Again, you've got access to that um, without payment. Uh, trader coaching and training, that's quite interesting. Now let's just click on this so you can see what you get in here. So once you click through here, you'll see this link and then you'll open this up. And then down here, you will see these uh, 
uh, training videos and these are interviews with uh, current students. They're also uh, talking about uh, how to map out the market and generally ongoing training that I go through. If we click on one of these, uh, let's just take one for example here, we click on this and we can see that this is uh, here in this uh, text I explain what the interview is about and then we can get straight into there and uh, if you click away that we will get straight into the interview that went on with Mark and the training. So that's all you have to do to register for that is go to the website and uh, if I just pull the website up now. So there if you just go to the website and if you just scroll down a little bit you'll see you've got training packages here, you've got the uh, free wealth creation course and the market makers method course. So if you log in for example into the free wealth creation that will then give you access uh, through to the training that I've just shown you. And there you go, that's what it's like working with me and that's the resources that you have access to. I hope to see you soon.